Hi class, it's Pauline Higgins, here to tell you a bit about Gustav Stickley, the furniture designer I chose for my presentation. Gustav Stickley lived from 1857 to 1942. His work is considered to be part of the early modernism movement in the United States. Now, as much of both style and architecture in the United States has been influenced by various countries and societies throughout the world, as well as throughout time, early modernism is similar in that matter. It was influenced by architecture and style that was happening in Europe. Gustav Stickley is considered an arts and crafts designer. He called his version of that the craftsman style. You may be familiar with it. He is well known for his furniture, which is specifically called the mission style. It is a unique look and is recognizable. I am not an interior designer. In fact, I am a high school nutrition and life skills teacher. However, because of the content area I teach, I needed to take a couple of interior design classes, which is my reason for being in this class. So all that is to say, I am not familiar with much of the content that we look at and discuss on a weekly basis. So I personally was excited to see this name on the list of options because I felt fairly familiar with this particular style of furniture. In fact, when my husband and I first started out, we were a young married couple and his dad gave us a set of mission style family room furniture. We had a couch, love seat, coffee table, and side tables. We were so excited to receive this furniture because it looked classic and it had a timeless style and it could match a lot of different ways we would want to decorate our house. It had a sturdy, simple, and easy to match style that we could incorporate into our home. We have since cycled through some furniture and no longer have this set for me to show you. However, it was the perfect furniture for us to start out with. Speaking of sturdy and simple, Stickley's furniture was often described as such as well as plain, solid, and strong. You will probably recognize this style as you look at the pictures that I will be providing throughout this video. The colors associated with this time period and style were light earth tones such as green, tan, and rust. And the floors in people's homes generally consisted of wood, decorative tile, linoleum, and rugs. A little history for you. During the age of industrialization, there was great pride taken in the hand craftsmanship it took to create Stickley's furniture. It was generally deemed not possible to replicate that type of quality in a factory. It was essentially an anti-industrial design statement. When a man's home is born out of his heart and developed through his labor and perfected through his sense of beauty, it is the very cornerstone of life. Gustav Stickley worked in his uncle's chair factory as an apprentice of sorts, I would imagine, and got experience in the furniture industry during that time. Stickley's first line of furniture consisted of white oak and native woods or woods that were found in the local areas naturally. Here you see a couple of styles of the craftsman style. Stickley is known for publishing a magazine called The Craftsman that he started in 1901. This was a magazine in which people could see his style, his home designs, and it was marketed to the homemaker, among other people, as one of the original interior designers. He developed the concept of the craftsman home in the form of a farmhouse, a cottage, and a bungalow. 
And if you've purchased a house, uh, perhaps those are models of homes that you're familiar with. He does not seem to be as well known for his home designs as he is his furniture, simply because he didn't make as many homes as he did furniture. However, what we call the craftsman style of home today is still very common to see in building construction and new home construction. It is said of his home designs, to substitute the luxury of taste for the luxury of costliness to teach that beauty does not imply elaboration or ornament, to employ only those forms and materials which make for simplicity, individuality, and dignity of effect. Regarding his furniture craftsmanship, in addition to wood, leather and other upholstery were used in his furniture. Stickley's early 1900s furniture is considered rare and collectible. His quality of craftsmanship led to the trademark statement of his company that translates to, to the best of my ability, like you see here. And this emblem that you'll see on the right side of the screen uh, can be found in, on Stickley's furniture. In addition to furniture, his company also produced textiles, lighting, and metalwork. He wrote in the Craftsman magazine, There are elements of intrinsic beauty in the simplification of a house built on the log cabin idea. First, there is the, rare, the bare beauty of the logs themselves with their long lines and firm curves. Then there is the open charm felt of the structural features, which are not hidden under plaster and ornament, but are clearly revealed, a charm felt in Japanese architecture. The quiet rhythmic monotone of the wall of logs fills one with the rustic piece of a secluded nook in the woods. The Craftsman Farms is a log house that was originally intended to be a school, but it has since been turned into the Stickley Museum at Craftsman Farms, where there are tours and historic glimpses into the Craftsman style. And you'll see that picture in the top left corner. The Gustav Stickley House, right below that, is a house that was built for Stickley in Syracuse, New York. Stickley designed the interior in the Craftsman style. It is now listed in the National Register of Historic Places. The natural materials used were in themselves the decorative features in the home. Picture exposed wood beams and built-in wood fixtures on the walls. The Morris chair is a recognizable and common style from Stickley. You'll see that in the top right. And there are modern, modern furniture lines that are influenced by Stickley and in his style. The Eastwood chair pictured on the bottom left is said to be from Stickley's home itself. This tile top plant stand picture has Asian influences and was not a common or long-lived style. Nevertheless, it is a collectible. Here is a picture of a chair that was given to us by my father-in-law. It is a wood rocker that reminds me of the craftsman style. It is not comfortable and it has not been cared for well over the years, so it does not have a place of prominence in our home because it is not actually a comfortable chair to sit in. But I did think it was a nice connection that I had from my home to this style. I find Gustav Stickley's furniture to be timeless because the style can last through the decades. I also find the craftsman style of home to be a rather timeless design because we see it as a consistent model being offered in homes throughout the country being built throughout the decades and through our present day. 
I hope you now have a good mental picture of the craftsman style from the arts and crafts movement in the United States. It was an important era that shaped architecture, style, and design for decades to come. It set the bar high for quality of craftsmanship as well as a style and design that is timeless and able to be enjoyed by many people in the United States over the past several decades and through today. Thanks guys.